Thank you, Leland. Violence continues in the city as police investigate three homicides this week already. Crime Insider John Burkett is live to tell us now what he's hearing from neighbors and his sources. John? Sunday's homicide victim beaten with a tool, most likely a hammer, according to Crime Insider sources. He is the third man to be murdered on the city south side this week. A man murdered off Halifax Avenue Tuesday afternoon. Multiple sources say no Richmond ambulances were available. They had to call on mutual aid from Chesterfield County. By the time paramedics arrived, the man is pronounced dead. Near Hillside Court early Wednesday morning, a man is shot to death. Another city murder investigation underway. I was shot because, like I said, nothing ever goes on around here. Joyce Pittman has lived on East 36th Street for more than three decades. 56-year-old Eddie Wells was working on the house across the street, but detectives believe between four Saturday afternoon and nine Sunday morning, someone came into the home and beat Wells to death with tools. Sources say most likely a hammer. We're here trying to get in contact with the homeowner about uh, doing the uh, forensic cleaning for the uh, homicide. David Woods knows a lot about crime scenes. The former Richmond police officer now runs his own forensic cleaning business. And sadly, business is booming. Homicides, suicides, um, unintended deaths, um, virus decontamination, um, things like that. Three homicides in the first four days of the week. A startling stat. People living here on 36 say the detective walkthrough is a welcome sight because longtime residents are worried about a return to Richmond's violent past. That's interesting to know that they are working with the neighborhood and to keep us safe. The city now officially over 50 murders for the year compared to 38 at this time last year. And there's growing concern about another spike in violence as we head into early September.